In this video, we're going to be covering another Amazon interview question. This question is lead code question number 7, reverse integer. You have been given an integer. You need to return an integer which is going to be the reverse of that integer. Uh, one thing you need to remember is that the requirement is that when you are reversing and it goes out of range, then return 0. So, uh, if we have this number x equals to 1, 2, and then 3, uh, let our i be on the first digit and let the result equal to 0. Whenever you extract it, I'm sorry let our i be on the third one so the re the way we're going to be extracting the the last significant or the least significant digit from this number is just do x modulus by of 10 so that will give you this 3 so what we're going to be doing with this 3 is like every single time, whatever the result is, uh, we're going to be multiplying uh, by 10 and then adding that uh, 3 into it. So that's going to make it. So it's already 0 multiplying it with 10 uh, plus 3 is going to make it 3. And then we are going to divide this x uh, by 10 which is going to make it, which is going to remove this 3 and bring, uh, uh, it's going to make it 12. Again, we are going to uh, take the modulus to get 2, but this time we're going to be doing 30 plus 2, which is going to make it uh, 32. Uh, again, we're going to be dividing it by 10 and uh, it's gonna be here so taking the modulus again uh, taking the modulus again uh, it's gonna give us 1 uh, multiplying the result by 10 and adding uh, the the whatever was the this the least significant digit remaining uh, we're gonna add that that's going to be equal to 321 and that's how we're going to be able to reverse it. The only tricky part here is that let's say that you are actually calculating this new result equal to as I mentioned result is going to get multiplied by 10 and added by the uh, least significant digit the remaining digit. This is the result so at any point in time uh, you could have like 30 320 or 321 right so let's talk about this instance 32 so the result is 32 you are multiplying by 10 and then adding that so in that case the new result is going to become equal to 320 uh, so let's say that our result was 32 um, and then multiplied by 10 and then the um, uh, result was 32 multiplied by 10 and the tail was 1 so and the new result is gonna turn out to be 321 right so if there is no overflow what will happen is like if you wanna just using the basic algebra you can extract result from this equation so the tail would, would go over there uh, so that will become new result uh, minus tail and 10 would go over there uh, and it will actually be divisible by n divided by 10 and that will become equal to the result just basic algebra I just moved everything uh, 
uh, from the right hand side to the left hand side and that's the result at any point in time if this equation and this equation is not equal right if you cal you you did this thing and then you you found out that if you do this and it is not equal to the result that means that overflow has happened and you need to return zero that's the only tricky part in this question that uh, you calculate the new result and then uh, you do the same thing uh, and then if it is not equal to a result uh, just we're sure that it, it was because of the overflow so we can just return zero yeah pretty straightforward over there in terms of the complexity we are not really using yeah we are not using any extra space uh, and in terms of the time complexity uh, if we have n number of digits right so we are actually linearly um, parsing them by the way if you consider the complexity in numbers so let's say that the x is a number right don't want to talk about the number of digits then it's a logarithmic complexity because every single time we are uh, like uh, and taking the log of 10 in order to actually remove one of the digits so depending on how you do uh, how you want to explain the complexity so linear in terms of like how many digits there are and logarithmic if a logarithmic of the the value of the integer x uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this video uh, thanks for watching